morning guys all right i'm going to jump right into this because it's coming at me quickly and um yeah um okay so the sun isn't shining in your life or that's how you feel there's you're having a lot of anxiety or fear about lack of stability and a fear of death um and the push that i'm getting from this is that there's a big push of like of choosing yourself choosing your happiness choosing what makes you happy like and this takes time it does take time to figure out. And then if you have, if you're caught in too much in life, if you're in, when you're in survival mode, you're just, you're not even like thinking about that for the most part. But when you come back out of it, then you can be like, you can reassess the situation and be like, okay, now what do I really want to create in my life? Or what's really going to make me happy? And I need to do that too. Like I get pulled around by even being on my own here, I'm still get pulled around by, by other energies and my child and, and make, you know, his need, making sure his needs to meet needs to be met. So it's like, it's beyond codependency. I feel like, I think it's just being sensitive or being in a physical world with people around you and being caring or whatever. Like we get caught up in other people's stories. So it's like, when you come back to yourself, it's like, then you have another chance to be like, okay, what is my soul? Like, what's really going to satiate me? The depth of me, like for me, it's like, figuring out ways to have, be outside more, like have more freedom. Um, I want to save to take, to take a trip with me and me and Teddy. Like, I don't want to give it all. Cause I'm, I'm trying to be, I'm trying to find that balance and not give too much personal information, but you start to see that it's like, you're never going to be happy without your needs being met without like those things about you that are just like if you're like for me, it's that that kind of gypsy part of me, or like what you know, it's whatever that is for you. If it's security, if it's like you need a certain level of security, then there are there are ways to make to get that to get that need met. Um, I'm not getting anything specific about that, so I'll come back to that if there's some, if there's something. Um, and if it is money, if there's a certain amount of money that makes you feel content, then that that's fine. Like you can. Um, Okay, I don't want to get sidetracked. Um, if they give me anything else on that, I'll, I'll I'll give that information. But the fear of death is actually a fear of of living. The a fear the fear of death is that it may be unprocessed grief that you need, but it, to work through, and um, it may just be because we have this this the fool down here saying take a leap of faith even though you don't feel stable like that. There's this lack of stability with pentacles, like with the material, or a lack of security. Um, but we we put ourselves in this mental this eight of swords. We put ourselves in this mental prison when we don't go after the things that we really want, and when we attach it to like a person or something that's superficial, it doesn't, it doesn't lead to happiness. The The other thing that came to me and I'm going to, and I'll get back to the cards is that we live in this world where we get stuck in the illusion. People cast illusions. Like to me, the devil energy, a lot of times is like this idea of some, it's like the grass, as always the grass is greener analogy. It's like, there's this, there's this better option here if you sell your soul, no, I mean, it doesn't have to be that drastic, but like if you, um, cause like for me, for the, with this house, like I went after security and I don't want to say it's been regret because there's been so much that's happened and all of this, but it's like, it has come back around full circle to the realization for me that it's like, that's not, that's never going to fulfill me. Um, and I think that that's really all of us, like truly when we get, we, we, um, when we find our security in God, when we find our security, when we get our, um, when we, when we feel safe within, thank you. When we feel safe within in our body, again, when we come back to that space to realize that we don't want all of these material things. And there's actually other things that are more fulfilling to us. Um, okay. That was a mouthful. Yeah. But the, okay. Last thing is what the, 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 the devil energy thing is like, it's, it's, it's like a temper. It's, it may, it, and I'm trying to get, how do I word this and like get 
keep it concise. It's like selling you a lie. It's like it's like this thing that looks good and if, and look it looks good on paper, um, but then it actually doesn't. Um, you end up getting burned out from it or you end up finding yourself in this eight of swords position because you're like, okay, that thing actually didn't, that, that story, that, that lifestyle, that, um, situation didn't actually make me happy. Um, and it is what it is because we're learning through all of it and there's traps and <laughs> I know y'all, I'm right there with you. So, um, but okay. So there is this push today for sure to like, to seek and, and, or like, um, make time for spend time in the things that truly fulfill you on a deeper level, because we have to keep coming back to ourselves and remember that we're the creator of our own life and our own happiness and our own well being. Um, and we get caught up in, in the outside. So um, like I said, I'm right there with you guys. Um, cause it's easy to get mad and want to blame some of it, something else. Um, yeah. And then you're in this, you just have an ego tantrum and then you're right back where you started. So, <laughs> okay. So we have justice coming out here that what I'm getting for, for the justice is that it's, it's playing out for whatever these other, these dark energies are that are like pulling on you or these karmic energies. Like there's going to be justice. Sorry about my kid, y'all. He's been a nut already today. Um, justice is going to be playing out for, um, this, this feeling of this intense mental prison feeling of lack. Um, and this King of Wands reverse. So that's kind of like a witchy energy. Um, so I think that that's maybe just your guys trying to say like, just try not to worry about all this background stuff and focus on what brings you joy so that you can um, shine again so that you can feel like the sun again. Um, okay, let me see if we get anything else and then I'll wrap this up. And it's easy to feel like, because I know for me in the situation I'm in, this Nine of Pentacles kind of came out sideways. Um, it's easy to feel like money is going to like fix everything, but I know that that's not the answer. Um, and so I get, it's easy to get caught up in that. And then you, and then it, you just fall right back into lack of like all the things that you don't have or that aren't right in your life. At least that's how it goes for me. Instead of me like getting outside of my head and being like, okay, <clears throat> I would love to go on a nature walk today. That would make me feel good. That would bring me happy, like peace. That would bring me joy. And then you're radiating that out to everybody else. And that's, um, and then it's like, well, for me, at least it's like, I actually get rejuvenated and I have more energy. Cause that's another thing. So I'm like, I miss the passions that I used to have. And I'm like, well, I've got to make the time for it. I've got to fit, you know, I can't blame the world because I don't have enough energy or whatever. Like it's not anybody else's problem. Um, but it still is frustrating when you feel like you're, you, you, we feel like we're stuck, but we actually are getting ourselves stuck. All right. Anything else about this night of pentacles? And then we're going to wrap this up. Um, that may, that's giving me like, oh, really? Now we get the magician reverse. Okay. Um, all right. We'll see if we get anything else for that kind of casting illusions. Um, get this nine of pentacles is giving me like, stay, like stay to, stay to your, like stay to your self. Like try not to like get, get pulled around by the energies outside of you too much and keep your focus. Jeez. I don't know if this emperor was, and then the hair font. Um, I don't know if he was reversed or upright because he fell in my lap. So there could be some abuse of power going on. Um, I'm just getting, try, try not to fall into the fear and know that you're the creator and to keep, keep your focus centered if you can and find those things or make time for those things that really satiate your soul, that really, that really help you to get out of your head and um, to feel safe in your body. Once you feel safe in your body again, it's like every, you let go of all of the mental stuff. It doesn't mean that there's not still problems that have to be solved or that you don't have all the things that you need. But it does help you, 
And that to me, it's like, it, 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 it spans out like through your days. Like it's easier to just be in more of a meditative state, create that peace within you, um, to carry on with whatever it is that you have going on. Like we're all out here trying to figure out how to get out of the karmic cycles and how to master things and to learn from our mistakes and, um, to be the master of our reality, to be, to be a savage. Um, <laughs> um, and once you, yeah, like I said, once you feel safe in your body, it's like, you just come back to that place of remembrance that it's like, it's me and God. And it's, it's so easy to want to like look outside of you or want to attach to these other things to like get that, to fill that void. But really, when you feel safe in your body, it's like, that's, you don't, you just don't question everything. Um, and then you want to do what makes you happy. Um, okay. I don't want to keep dragging this one out. Um, I love you guys so much. You can book a personal reading with me, like, and subscribe, share this message if you want to. And again, just take whatever resonates. And I hope that you find something that fulfills you on and the most deep juicy level possible. <laughs> Bye guys.